coming off of a Lakers game that was intensely deflating because they had played out of their minds at the beginning of that game, that can really affect your psyche because you were up huge and then you, you let that get away, you end up losing the game by double digits and now you gotta turn around, you gotta go to Sacramento and Sacramento has had the Grizzlies number. You know, that Sacramento game was huge for the Grizzlies because again, that wasn't a place where the Grizzlies played well. They've blown 20 point leads, they've gotten down by 25 points. It's just one of those extreme places uh, in cases when they play the Kings, particularly in Sacramento. With this Kings team, they have no issues on the offensive end. They're able to score at a high clip. They're gonna put a lot of pressure on the Grizzlies. And now you have these two teams, they both have dynamic point guards. You know, when you talk about these guys, De'Aaron Fox going up against John Morant. Morant against Heel to the cup, plays it up and in off glass. Grayson Allen, a corner three, bango. But it was Jonas Valanciunas that had the most compelling impact in that game. This is a guy that doesn't get emotional on the court much. He just goes about doing his work, rebounding, double-doubles, points in the paint. It's one of those things where Jonas is the big brother, he's the enforcer, and he's going to set a tone. And when he sets the tone, this team follows. I mean, I think it did speak to the level of toughness, tenacity, kind of like what this team is. You got to play hard every night, and we know that, you know, some some nights not, some not going our way, but, you know, we keep pushing, we keep fighting, and we're going to do all season. When you come back to Memphis, it's going to be five to eight inches. What activities are you going to do when you get back to playing snow? You know, I'm not playing in no snow. I'm going to be in the house, stay in the house, stay warm. That's really about it. Anybody else, you know, want to go outside and build a snowman, make snow angels, they can do that. But uh, at the Morant household, uh, we'll be in, in the house. Memphis is a city that is not used to snow. In Memphis, it started to snow on Valentine's Day. It started to snow and it kept snowing and it kept snowing and, and three days later it was still snowing. The weather was freezing outside, the snow didn't go anywhere and for over a week, everything here just basically shut down. And I think for a city like Memphis to have that much snow, it was the first time in I think 50 years, it kind of took everyone by surprise and no one was really sure what to do about it. It's been an interesting last 36 hours. Glad that everyone got back safe from the West Coast and safe so far today and excited about playing the game. So not only did this huge snow and ice storm hit Memphis and, and kind of disrupt everything, but the Grizzlies had four home games and five nights during that stretch. And in this season that has been interrupted by health and safety protocols, everyone's doing everything they can to get these games in. Lob for Clark. Yes. And a foul. Diallo going behind the back. Oh, what a steal by Kyle Anderson. And Conchar battling for the rebound, but to the floor. And the battle won. And Conchar is just going to dive in there and force a held ball. Was not going to give up on the play. Maladon went to the floor, and Conchar says, you know what, I'm not going to go back the other way. Oh, that was a great hustle. Grizzlies will win it 122 to 113. The Grizzlies handled their business. Despite having everyone's patterns interrupted, practice, shoot arounds, all that stuff, there was different start times for every game. It was all pretty wild, but the Grizzlies came in and competed really well. Oh, wow, that's a mismatch going right at Plumley. Hold on. This time he had him almost go back on his heels. It was sort of a microcosm of this season for a team in a league that has had everything interrupted and, and kind of thrown off. It's game time. You got to play. You got to figure out how to play, how to get the games in, how to get to the arena, all that stuff. And the Grizzlies showed that they were able to do that. Second half of the season is all about the pieces being put together now. Grayson Allen gonna lob it up for Morant. Winslow attacks yes. and finishes. Said it to the team last couple days, just finding consistency and uh, really proud of the edge that we came out with. This is more of the Grizzlies basketball that we expect. Taylor Jenkins gets to reshuffle the deck. You're going to have guys hopefully get healthy. You're going to have guys stay healthy. You're going to finally see what these Grizzlies are all about, what they envision in terms of their team and their lineup and their roster being when this season first started.
Durant, full head of steam against Neto. Yes, yes! and the foul. For the Grizzlies, this was a team that came into this season with a lot of the same players we had a year ago. Coach in his second year here with a chance to kind of continue his system. And for the first time, you're going to add in Justice Winslow, who, who just came back. And now you get Jaron Jackson Jr. back. And, and we don't know exactly when that happens. But for a team that was playing around 500 that looked pretty good, to add in a Justice Winslow and a Jaron Jackson Jr. for the stretch down the end of the season is pretty remarkable. You know, most teams try and go out and make a move around the trade deadline. The Grizzlies don't have to make any moves. They've got two huge pieces coming back. And once those guys get healthy and you add that to the equation, this team should be something to reckon with down the stretch.